You know how carefully we are choosing our ministers? They throw the net wide. Not just scholars. Every successful man, before he's successful, he must have some inner drive in him. Something that makes him make the right judgments in life. So we throw it across society. Finally, we put them through psychometric tests. Values, attitude, life story, what, how you were brought up and so on. And your values. Some people are naturally religious. Some people are naturally socially conscious. Some are economically driven and so on. So we have a fairly good profile which reduces the risk. Then we take them in as MPs, test them out. And as junior ministers, see their metal, see whether they can swim in the deep end of the pool. And finally, after two terms, you become a minister. By which time, we have seen the metal in the man. And no other country does that. But we have, we have ministers out of three million people who can talk to Chinese ministers, American secretaries of state and secretaries of treasury and so on, or any European nation, at the same level, intellectually, we are not inferior to them. But they are just the top cream of Singapore. Whereas on the other side, they are part of a pretty wide, thick spectrum of cream. So it's easy to choose. Now we need these two things. Then you've got today's Singapore. Then you've got this cultural hall. Then we can sit down and talk about what will happen in 50 years. <laughs> Otherwise, you will be scratching a living. So please don't forget it.